using the View Options menu as a participant in a Zoom meeting. Okay, here I am in a Zoom meeting as a participant, and the host is sharing their screen with me. The host gets to determine, of course, what I see here, or what the content is that they're sharing, but I have some control over how I view it. And that is access through the View Options menu, which you should always see at the top of any shared screen in a Zoom meeting where you're a participant. If you click where it says View Options, the View Options menu will appear. The first thing you can do is change the magnification of the screen, the shared screen. Let's face it, sometimes the small print or small objects on a shared screen can be very hard to view. You have control over that. You can click here where it says Zoom Ratio. The default is usually fit to window so that you see the entire screen that the host is sharing and it fills your entire monitor so that you're not missing anything off to the edges. But you have complete control over this. If it's too big for some reason, you can drop it by a half. Or you can select 100% original size, which may or may not correspond with fit to screen. But you can go bigger if you need to, as much as three times the size of the original screen. The problem with that, of course, is that now the host's entire screen is not visible at one time. You have two solutions for that. You can click and drag the window that you are viewing of the host's screen around so that you can see the small print that you could not see before, or whatever. Or you can accept uh, follow presenter's pointer. If you select that and then just move your cursor off the shared screen, now as the host moves their cursor around the screen and points at different things on the screen, your magnified window into the shared screen view moves with the instructor's pointer. Another thing that can occasionally be aggravating during screen sharing is these video thumbnails over here on the right. They may be covering up things that you need to see. You can move them around, but if you'd rather just not see them at all, you have an option in View Options to hide video panel, and that will get rid of it entirely. Should this be a circumstance where the host is helping you with some sort of tech support, you can request control, remote control of the host's screen. That's a relatively rare circumstance in a Zoom class meeting. You can also annotate the shared screen if the host has made that possible. If you click annotate, you'll get your annotation toolbar and you can start drawing on the host's shared screen. Stands to reason that you probably ought to ask permission before you do that, but that is an option under View Options. You can also, if you happen to have put Zoom into full screen view, you can exit that, which makes it a little bit easier for you to see some things. And then finally, you can select side-by-side -side mode. Let's go back to our fit to window here to illustrate that. Side-by-side -side mode allows you to have the video panel over here separate from the shared screen so that the video panel doesn't overlay the shared screen. And you can control the relative size of the video panel and the shared screen by mousing over this little double vertical line here, the, the boundary line between the two windows, uh, until you see a double-headed arrow. Then click and hold, and you can drag back and forth. I can make 
the shared screen very small and restore the video panel almost to its full size. This is useful if the instructor is sharing the screen but is not using the shared screen, just talking to you. and You don't need to share the, see the shared screen. Or if the shared screen is paramount and you want to make the video panel as small as possible, you can drag all the way to the right and make the video panel tiny and see the shared screen as big as possible or anything in between. So that's the operation of the view options menu in a Zoom meeting when the host is sharing their screen with you.